hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this twisted typographic animation inside of cinema 4d so if you are new to this channel and you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Cinema 4D. So first thing first, we need to create one text for our animation. So I'll go to the more graph options over here and I'll select this more text. So simply click on it. After that, we will get this kind of text over here. And over here, you will get this option called align. So let's choose middle one. And now over here in text options, I'm going to type my text. So I'll type motion design, okay you can choose whatever text you want but i'll choose this motion design text for now then uh, for the font i'm going to choose different font let's choose poppins black and we will stick with this okay now after that i'll press n and then i'll press d so i can see those edges properly select this text and over here intermediate points let's choose natural like this and if you want then you can increase and decrease these points i'm going to make it six okay after that uh, depth i'm going to choose 40 like this or let's say 25 maybe because we don't want much more of it then we will go to the caps options and over here in type uh, by default it's n gone i'm going to choose quadrangles like this and we will enable this regular grid and let's make this eight so we will get this kind of edges over here okay so uh, this portion is done over here now we will select this and let's go to the right view over here and now i am going to bring my cube so simply click over here like this and let's move this over here this cube now we don't need this cube in our animation we are going to use this cube only as a reference so select this text and by holding control first of all i'll create a duplicate and then i'll bring this thing over here then select both of them and by holding control i'm going to create duplicate of it select both of them press r for rotation and by holding shift i'm going to rotate it like this up to minus 90 degree press e and let's bring one over here like this then we will select this one and we will try to select both of them and try to adjust them properly at the middle of it so if i see over here i'll get this proper alignment like this now if you think that distance between this uh, two is very less so what you can do simply select this and let's bring this a little bit downward select this and let's bring this a little bit downward like this okay so you get something like this okay and then let's delete this cube now we will bring our camera in our scene so let's select this camera and we will enable this camera let's go to the coordinates and over here uh, i'm going to make it zero 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 over here also zero zero and zero initially like this then go to the right view and let's bring this camera over here like this and then bring this camera over here let's go to the orthographic view so we can see this view from all sides like this okay so we will get this kind of stuff if you hit ctrl r obviously we will get something like this now i'm going to select all of them and right click and i'm going to choose connect object plus delete so now all of this is only one object then double click to create one material and apply over here like this now after that i am going to bring my deformer which is twist deformer so i'll simply click on it and i'll move this inside this more text let's select this go to the objects and let's press r for rotation and by holding shift i'm going to rotate it like this then we will properly adjust the position of this over here like this let's adjust some positions okay then select this twist and over here we can increase the size of this like this and like this okay then go to the right 
view or let's say front view and we will adjust the size from here also okay like this and if you increase the value of this angle as you guys can see we will get this kind of twist so i'm going to make it 360 completely so if you see we will get something like this okay now after that let's select this twist go to the start and go to the front view and initially let's move this over here like this go to the coordinates and we will create one keyframe at x go to around 180 frames and let's move this from here to here and create another keyframe okay so if i see this animation now i'll get something like this okay so this is for this one now i'll select this more text and by holding control i'm going to create a duplicate of it and i'll move this over here let's bring this over here okay like this then we will select this twist and what we are gonna do over here that if you play this animation both of them are coming from this side so i don't want that i want they should start from this side so i'll bring this a little bit up then i'll select this twist deformer and all we need to do we need to exchange the keyframes so i'll select this keyframe and i'll try to move this over here and i'll select this keyframe which is first and i'll bring this to 180 and i'll bring this over here like this so now this should start from here so if i hit play this is going to start from here again we will select this more text and by holding control i'm going to create a duplicate it and i'll bring this over here okay so if i hit play now i'll get this animation from different different size and at the end of it it's going to end and then again it will start from the over i mean it will start from the start now uh, if you hit Control r we will get something like this but there is a lack of light in our scene so for that what we are going to do we will go to the light options and we will choose area light let's increase the size of these lights with the help of these coordinates go to the top view and i'll move this light over here let's increase the size from here also and here also let's move this over here press r for rotation let's rotate it like this and then rotate it like this let's go to the right view press e then press w and let's move this over here select this light go to the general and in shadow i'm going to choose area so if you hit ctrl r we will get this kind of stuff now select this light go to the top view by holding ctrl i'm going to move this light over here press r then press w and we will rotate it like this so if you hit ctrl r now we will get this kind of results and there is another thing we need to do let's simply double click this and we will go to the luminance and we will enable the luminance and brightness i'm going to choose 50. so if i hit ctrl r i'll get something like this and if you hit play and let's hit ctrl r sorry i'll press ctrl shift z let's hit ctrl r we will get something like this okay so this is how we can create this animation so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned